Hi friends, we're gonna do our dumbbell workout today. Make sure and grab some dumbbells or food cans and warm up and let's get started. All right, so um, the sets today are gonna to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're gonna do three, um, sorry, I just have to change my view here. Uh, three rounds. The first one, and I'll go ahead and just demonstrate, you're gonna use, um, I'm gonna grab two dumbbells for this. You can also do this with one if you would prefer. Sorry, you can't do this with one. Never mind. forget what I just said. <laughs> We're gonna do this with um, a squat and an upright row. So the squat is a little wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down, and then you're gonna bring it upright like this. If you wanna squat and put your dumbbells this way, it's a little bit less awkward. So squat, and then you're gonna twist it, and your elbows are gonna go higher than your dumbbells as you pull up, down, up. Um, the next thing is gonna be a chest press with a hip bridge. So you're gonna lay on your back. You're gonna bring your hips off the ground and you're gonna press it up and together. Elbows come out to the side and touch the ground and push up. You can do this on a bench if you'd like or you can just do it on the ground. And then the last one of this set is a single leg back row. Let me just get Sandy in here. So you're going to lean, lean over like you're doing a deadlift, and then you're going to do a back row like that, okay? And then halfway, we'll do three rounds, so on the last round, halfway through, I will switch you halfway through for your legs so you get an even portion on your legs. I'm going to start my 45 seconds on and 15 seconds off. Ready? And start. So you grab your weights. Feet are a little wider than shoulder width apart, and you're gonna squat, and when you come up, elbows go higher than the dumbbells, squat, upright row, squat, upright row. Really push through the heels when you do your squat, when you press up, so that you're squeezing your glutes when you stand. Since we have weight in the front of us, you don't wanna let it pull you too far forward into your toes. Up. Also make sure that your elbows are higher than the weights, press down, press. 10 more seconds. Nice. <laughs> Aaron's dogs are active today. <laughs> You're getting restless. <laughs> All right, rest. 15 seconds rest. We're gonna come down to the ground next. So go ahead and take your dumbbells with you. This is gonna be a chest press with a hip bridge. So my feet are on the ground. My elbows are out wide. That's our start. Press your hips up. And then you're gonna press the dumbbells together as a chest press, out, in. A few options for this is you can bring the elbows in together or you can bring them out to the side and press. Keeping the hips up the whole time, squeeze your glutes. Breathe out as you press it up away from you. And we are doing these rounds three times, so if you feel like maybe this weight is a little bit too light or too heavy, you can change it up in the next round so that you get a good push in those 45 seconds as well as holding that form. Press. Press. Keep it going. Good. Rest. We're going to come back up, standing, and we're going to do a single leg back row. So that just means we're going to be in a back row position doing back rows, but I'm going to have you take one foot off the ground and lean forward, and we're going to go ahead and start. So you're working on your balance here. Lower intensity, you can keep both feet on the ground. Really watch your back, make sure it stays nice and straight. Kicking that foot back behind you. You'll probably feel this in your leg as well with your trying to get your balance set. I've got my left leg on the floor, so I'll make sure I do my right leg next. Pull, good. Breathe out as you pull the dumbbells close to you. Whoop. <laughs> It's okay, you gotta put that foot down. Just go right back up. Keep, keep that back nice and straight, head in line with the spine. Not looking too far up or too far down. And rest, nice work. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the squats with the upright row next. This is our second round that we're starting. Legs a little wider, then shoulder width apart. I like to knock my, have my dumbbells, go ahead and start facing each other, and then twist them as I come up. Down, twist. Good, so watch 
watch your back with this one. Don't aim for the ground the way your dumbbells have to touch the ground, they don't. Try and always keep your shoulders higher than your hips. So if you feel like you're just bending at the waist more than your legs, just recheck that form. Make it a nice deep squat. Chest stays forward. Great job, everyone. Breathe. Exhale as you come up. Pulling up. Five seconds. Nice and low, big pull. Good, rest, we're gonna go back down to the chest press. Got a challenge for you. If you'd like to kick this one up a notch, when you do your hip bridge, take one foot off the ground and put it out straight. I'm gonna do this on this one and keep my left leg on the ground. So the challenge here is trying to keep, keep the hips up while you're doing your chest press. You can also just try this for a few seconds, do it as long as you can, and then put both feet back down. Good. Pressing up. Recheck those hips, make sure they're high. Also keep them square to the ground if you feel like you're twisting with one foot off the ground. Just put them both back down, your feet. Recheck, push those hips nice and high. Exhale as you press away from your body. Press, good, and rest. So we're gonna stand back up, back to that single leg back row. I'm gonna have my right foot on the ground this time, leaning forward. So when you get yourself set with this one, you're gonna lean forward, back is flat, go ahead and start, and then I'm gonna let my leg just loosely come behind me and start my rows. It helps if you find something small, about a 45 degree angle from your ice, from your, from your foot, and just look at it. Keeping that one spot of focus can help with your balance as well. Again, lower intensity, you can put both feet down if they need to. Form check with that back is nice and flat and straight. No rounding of the upper back. Squeeze your shoulder blades as your elbows come close to each, towards each other. When you pull up behind your back, great job everyone. <laughs> I feel like I can't look at the screen right now because I'll fall over. Rest. <laughs> okay, back to those upright rows. Third round. Last round of these sets, of this set. Remember to go nice and deep, press through the heels as you press upwards. And start. Wow, lost my timer. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Good. Breathe out as you press it up. You can even pop those hips a little bit at the top if you want to, so that you're really pressing through your legs. Don't let your arms do all the work. Make sure those larger muscle groups in your, in your legs get some action. Press. Great job, everyone. Even those I can't see, I know you're doing good. You're working hard. Showing up is always that first part. Three seconds. All right, come back down to the ground, chest press. I'm gonna have my right foot on the ground and my left foot is gonna be up for this one. That's if you're doing the option of the hip bridge with the one foot up. Go ahead and start everyone with the hip bridge. One foot up if you want the extra challenge. And chest press. There we go. Great work, guys. I see some legs down, legs up. That's great. Good variety. Reminding that glute, if your right leg is down, that right glute should be activated. You should be feeling it there. We check that form. Make sure those dumbbells come together or at least close together when they press up and away from you. You got it. Almost there. Good, rest. All right, so this is our last set of our um, back rows. So I'm gonna switch halfway through my legs or you can also do both legs on the ground. It's up to you. Ready? And start. So I'm starting with my left leg down I'm going to start my rows, back is flat, shoulder blades come together, 
as you pull it up towards your body. Nice work. We're almost to the switching part. Okay, halfway there, let's switch it out. Other leg, if you're doing a single leg, keep going. If you're doing both feet on the ground, I know it takes a second to get that balance. Keep moving those arms, back is flat. Push that big toe down to the ground. Eight more seconds, you got this. Make sure you're leaning far enough forward so that you're not burning your shoulders out. Good, rest. All right. Great job, everyone. Little virtual high fives. <laughs> All right, that was our first round, first sets. Next thing we're gonna do are lunges with a pulse. So I'm gonna take my dumbbells and put them up by my shoulders. Gives me a little bit more core, um, core strengthening. You can also have your dumbbells by your side if your arms are feeling a little bit burnt out. But what I want you to do is take a step back for a lunge, but I also want you to do a quick two second pulse. So when I step back, I'm gonna go pulse, pulse, step together, alternate to the other side, back, pulse, pulse. It's just a small little movement at the very lowest part of your lunge. Give it like a second, like a one, two count in your, in your head, okay? The next thing you're gonna do is an overhead pullover with your legs out. So we're gonna alternate our legs. You're gonna lay on the mat. Dumbbells up, you can use one or two dumbbells for this. And you're gonna, your arms are gonna go back and up. And at the same time, your feet are gonna be off the ground and you're gonna bring one knee in and then pull it back out. One knee in, pull it back out. Lower intensity, you can do your knees bent this way so that one knee stays in the whole time. And you can also do it with just your legs staying in the same position. But you wanna pull, let the dumbbells go, reach far over your head, not a tricep extension. You keep your arms mostly straight, okay? And the third one of this is gonna be a plank with a pull through. So hands and toes, and you're gonna take one weight, pull it down underneath you, take the other hand, pull it up, and then you're gonna alternate down and up. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna alternate my starting hand. So one arm's not always doing the pull through and one arm is not always doing the pull up. I'll, I'll give you the, keys on, the cues on that one. Okay? Everybody ready? All right, let's do starting with the lunge, pulsing, alternating your sides on each step. Ready? And begin. So I'm gonna put the dumbbells up here. You can put them by your side. Step back two, and up, back, two, and up. A little bit of a pulse just at the very bottom of the lunge. Here we go, two. You can do this with or without weights. You can also bring the weights down by your sides. And shoulders back, chest forward, make sure you keep a light, nice straight line on your back. There we go. Great job, everyone. Back, two, almost there, and rest. Next thing we're gonna do is the overhead pullover. This is lying down on your back. You can do one dumbbell or two, and we're gonna alternate those feet so that your abs get a little bit of a workout as well. So I'm gonna put both out and one in. When you extend, lower intensity option is to bring them both in and always have one in, one knee in at the same time. That sometimes is a little bit easier as far as coordination goes. It's a little bit easier to think about. And then the lowest intensity is doing the same, the overhead pullover, but not moving your legs. Trying to keep your lower back towards the ground if you can. Do what works best for you, whatever the challenge is for the day. Definitely work more of the abs, but you don't want to overextend your back muscles, your lower back muscles with the highest intensity options. Good, rest. Nice job, guys. And we're gonna come to a plank position with one dumbbell. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do my pull throughs with my right arm. I'm gonna keep the dumbbell away from me to start with. All right, hold that plank, pull it through, take the other hand, pull it back up to the front. So the next round, we'll start with our left hand pulling down. But just stay in the same rotation, trying to keep the hips from rocking too much side to side.
side. Lower intensity can be done on your knees. Just make sure you're not in a tabletop position like this. You want to make sure that your hips stay low. You don't want the hips to go back above your knees. Good. Keep that moving. Really reach it out far so you can get the full pull through. Hopefully, you're not on the carpet rubbing a hole on your <laughs> on the ground. Not you can pick it up too instead of dragging it. If that's a all right, rest. If you need to not make holes in your floor, I don't want I don't want any blame for that. <laughs> all right, back to two dumbbells. We're going to do the lunges, alternating our sides with our pulses. Okay, bring the dumbbells up by your shoulders if you are, and start. Pulse, two, up. Pulse, two, up. Nice work. Pulse, two, up. Pulse, two, up. Nice job, everyone. Up. Pulse, two, up. Pulse, two. Trying to get that lower, that back knee as low to the ground as you can. You really push off that front leg when you come back to center. Good. It's a good chance to work on balance when you're doing your lunges. You might not think of it as single leg work, but it definitely is. Almost there. And rest. Come back down to the ground. Overhead press pullovers. Remember those uh, feet options? Kind of try it out right now if you want to get used to. Whichever option is you choose, put the dumbbells together, palms facing each other, go ahead and start. And we're going to go out and bring a knee in. Out, knee in. <laughs> out, knee in. Out, <laughs> knee in. Nice job. I'm laughing because my, my kids are trying to photobomb, but I've turned the camera so they're not in the screen. Not for that reason. I just thought I'd try it with this door in the background versus all the other busyness. <laughs> Good, watch that lower back. Keep pulling. Almost there. Breathe out as you come. Bring the dumbbells in front of your face. All right, rest. Nice job. Let's do the planks now. I'm going to start with my left hand. It's going to do the pull through. And my right hand is going to bring it back up to the, to the top. Okay? All right, hold that plank position. Make sure that your shoulders are over your hands so that your hands aren't too far out in front of you. Sometimes that can be a way to make up for core strength. I would definitely rather you be on your knees than have not great form on your toes. So if you find yourself like this more with your butt up, Maybe drop down to your knees. But if you can keep it somewhat flat, doesn't have to be perfect, just the best you can, then do it on your toes. Challenge yourself. We've got eight seconds to go. Moving the dumbbells forwards, backwards. All right, rest it. Coming back to the lunges. I'm gonna grab a sip. This is our last round. Bring the lunges, the dumbbells up to your shoulders. Step back with the pulses. All right, let's do it. Back, two, and up. Back, two, up. Great work. Back, two, up. There we go. Nice job, everyone. Back, two, Make that little pulse. You can hold it even longer. If you want to do a five second hold, that is completely fine. So you kind of what gets you, what gets you going more? Is it more of the, the hold position that's harder? Or is it the stepping back and forth that brings up your heart rate? Play with it a little bit. And rest. All right, back down to those overhead pullovers. And we're going to be Burning that core out, so remember our options are starting with your feet out. That's the highest. Medium is starting with your feet together. Go ahead and start. Your knees together, I mean. Lower intensity is just keeping them still, your lower body. And just focusing on the overhead pullover. You are still getting something out of the workout, no matter what. Which intensity you choose.
Good. Nice job, everyone. And I kind of like to play with it. So sometimes I'm doing the medium intensity. Sometimes I'm doing the higher. Sometimes I'm doing the lower. <laughs> Just trying to give you guys some visual options there. All right, rest. And let's go back to the plank. So I'm going to tell you halfway through which arm to lead with. So I'm going to start leading with my right arm, pulling down. Start with the dumbbell away from you. Watching that core so your shoulders are above your hands and start, pull through and up. I'm pulling down with my right. I'll let you know when we switch to the left. You should feel this in your core, a little bit maybe in your shoulders. Or you might feel it everywhere. <laughs> it all depends. All right, I'm going to switch my leading arm. I'm going to start down with my left arm and I'm going to pull it up with my right. Down and up. That's it, guys. You're doing great. This is the last of the set. Got one more set of three exercises. Keep it going. Watch those rocking of the hips. Go, go, go. All right. Nice work, everyone. Good. Grab uh, some water if you need. And I'll let you know what our next exercises are going to be. You guys are doing great on time. Okay, shoulders are, you're going to do a little bit of shoulder press with a side squat. So your dumbbells are going to be at your shoulders, and then you're going to step to the side, squat, and then you're going to raise the dumbbells as you step to the other side. So I'm going to alternate, step, I got a little mask up here, <laughs> down and up. So I'm stepping to the side, but it's not a side lunge, it's a side squat, so both knees are going to squat, and then I'm going to press up to a shoulder press when my feet come together. So that's the first one. The next one is our Turkish get up sit ups. It's just, that's just fun to say, Turkish get up sit ups. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have my, I'll show you this way. My left arm is straight, holding the dumbbell up above my head, stays up towards the ceiling the entire time. Right arm is down by my side, right leg is straight, left leg is bent. And you're gonna press up to your elbow, then to your hand, back down and up. And sorry, back down to the floor. We're going to do that one set, and then we're going to go straight in and do the other side for a set. Because this one takes a little bit getting used to before you get the full effect of the awesome Turkish get up. Okay? So just those extra two exercises because the Turkish get up, we're going to do one round on each side for each set of three. Okay? All right, let's get started with our side squat shoulder press. And go. So I'm going to keep the dumbbells up by my shoulders the whole time. Step to the side, squat, bring my feet together, press. Step to the side, squat, bring my feet together, press. Down, up. So this is a little bit of a wide squat. Try to get some good depth in there. Heels stay down to the ground. Your toes can point forwards or out a little bit out to the side, which is fine. Pull that belly button back in towards the spine as you press your dumbbells over your heads. Breathe out as you press over your head. There you go. Good work, guys. You can use the momentum of your legs when you come together to help press your dumbbells over your head. All right, rest. Let's go down to the ground with one dumbbell. I'm going to start with that dumbbell on my left arm. Right leg is straight. Right arm is by my side. Left leg is bent. You can watch me a couple times if you're still not sure about this one. I'm going to use my arm, my right arm, and press to my elbow, and then my hand, and then back down. One of the most important parts is I'm keeping my left arm straight. It's staying up above my head the entire time. It doesn't go forwards, doesn't go backwards. It stays above my head. So you're using your core to pull you up, as well as don't be afraid to use that arm. That's what it's there for, onto your elbow, and then to your hand. If you can only get up to your elbow, that is perfectly fine. Just keep doing those. We'll call those the Turkish crunches. You get just as good of a 
leg bent. I feel like I'm playing twister. <laughs> Left arm yellow. <laughs> and begin coming up to the elbow, then to the hand. It's like, maybe we'll call this the twister get up instead of the Turkish get up. <laughs> Good. Make sure that you go slow on the way back down. Don't just plop down to the ground. Make sure that you go step by step as you come back down. That's just as much important part of the exercise as the way up. It's controlling it on the way down. You can also take the weight away. If this is a little bit too high intensity, you can take the weight away and just put your arm up into the sky and try to get up to your elbow if you can. Good, let's rest. We're gonna stand back up because we've got those side squats with the shoulder press. Great work guys, we're two, I'm sorry, we're one set in, we've only got two to go. You guys are doing great. Okay, get those shoulders, whoops, go ahead and start. Dumbbells at your shoulders, pressing up above your head. I've got my pinky facing forward, just because it, it makes it easy for the transition with the squat. You can also make your shoulders, your elbows go out wide like this. Your choice. I can kind of rest the dumbbells on my shoulders to give my arms a break in between during the squats when I hold them this way. It's not cheating. <laughs> You're taking advantage of that little break. Press through those heels. As you stand up in the squat, this one should get your heart rate up a little bit. Anytime you're trying something over your head, good, rest. It definitely raises that heart rate. I'm gonna start this time holding it with my left arm. Right leg out, right arm out, left leg bent. So I'm starting with the opposite side this time. Just to mix it up, go ahead and start up to your right elbow. I'm sorry, your left elbow, left hand. Coming up, and down, up, and down, good. Breathe out as you come up. It's almost like you're trying to reach that dumbbell up to the ceiling, even when you get to the very top of your crunch, of your sit-up. You're still reaching it as high as you can. Lock that elbow. You'll, make it, you'll feel a difference because if you bend the elbow, you use a lot more of your arm muscles, which is not, the, not what we're concentrating on right now. We want the core, we want the main trunk of your body to do the work. Rest. Okay, I'm holding in my left. Right arm straight, right leg straight. Left arm straight up to the sky with the dumbbell. And left leg bent. I might have said that backwards on the last one. Doing the opposite of what you just did. <laughs> Nice job. So now since we're doing one set of each side for each round, you might start to feel these a little bit more. They kind of creep up on you in a good way, not in a creepy stalker way. <laughs> good, coming up and back down. Up and down. Nice work, guys. Up. Good, six seconds to go. All the way, reach it up high. Elbow to hand if you can, and rest. All right, everyone, we've got one more set to go. You guys are doing awesome. Now we're gonna do the squats with the shoulder press. Come on, let's push hard. Make these last ones count. Make sure, go ahead and start. Make sure you're using a heavy enough weight so that you can feel your shoulders are working as well as your legs. And I'm sure you feel your lungs as well, getting that heart rate up a little bit higher. Down, press together. Press. There we go. Press. Oh, my arms are talking to me. <laughs> Especially because we have our Turkish get up that holds it above our head. Press. You can, you can do this, 12 seconds. Don't stop on me now. That's it, smile a little bit. Makes the time go by faster with those seconds when you're working. And we made it. Turkish get up. Coming back down to the ground. Should you let those arms rest just a little bit? 
And then I'm going to start with my right leg straight, right arm straight, and my left arm, left hand, go ahead and start, hold the, the weight, pressing up, and back down, up. Remember other options, you can go to your elbow only, and you can also do this without weight. But if you feel like this is just a little bit challenging, not too hard, then don't change a thing. You can also do an extra add-on if you know a little bit about the Turkish get-ups and lift your hips off the ground at the top. So you would go up and then you would lift your hips up and then come back down. But only add that if you need to. If you want to play around with it a little bit, you can. All right, rest. I think that arm's had enough. <laughs> left. I'm holding it now with my right arm. Left leg straight, left arm on the ground, right knee bent. And when the buzzer goes, we're going to put that dumbbell straight up in the air and go and pull yourself up. So if you played a little bit around with that hip lift on the last one, try and even it out. Do a few on this side as well. Lift the hips up and then back down. Up and down. Good. Keep them reaching that dumbbell up towards the sky. You guys are doing awesome. We have 16 seconds to go. Pressing up. You're going to feel great. This is all over. We're going to stretch soon. Press. Down. Up and rest. Woo! Great job, everyone. That is our workout for today. Let's do a little bit of stretching if you've got some time. But thanks for joining us. So I'm just going to do a little standing stretches here. I'm going to take my arms up over my head, take a deep breath in, and I'm going to breathe out, reach out to the side, come back into the center, breathe in, and reach to the other side, breathe out, and back to the center, take a deep breath in, and release those arms. Let yourself hang down towards the ground and drop that head. And you can rock side to side if you'd like to. I'm going to spread those legs wide. I'm going to roll, come down to one side, stretch those inner thighs that we used with our side step squats to the other side. So if you guys feel any body aches or soreness after these exercises, these workouts, just make sure and just keep moving the next day. The more you, I know your body just will just want to uh, kind of stay still and, and relax on the couch, but if you move around a little bit throughout the day, if you're not doing a workout that day, it can be really beneficial to kind of help work out the soreness in your muscles. That's a wrap for today. Thanks so much for joining us and feel free to subscribe and follow here.